On our previous videos, we've discussed what your survey is, which is basically a legal description of your property, telling you how wide your lot is, how deep it is. It also showed us where your house is located, possibly shows where the driveway is located, where your garage is located, and any other structures on your property. After finding and looking at our survey, we can now move on to find out what our allowable buildable area is on our property. For this, we checked out our zoning map, which gave us certain criteria for our building lot. The zoning chart told us how far off we can build from our front yard, how far off we can build off our rear yard, and how far off we can build on our side yards. Putting this all together, we can see that our survey being drawn here is the first thing that we need to look at. From our previous example, we have found that our setback off our front yard is 50 feet, which can now be plotted. Our rear yard setback in this example was also 50 feet, which can now be plotted. In our side yard setbacks, we can see that one side is 20 feet and the other is 30 feet. So what these setbacks have determined is in this rectangle being highlighted in this graphic is the allowable buildable area according to your zoning within your town. As you look at your house that is on your survey with the actual setbacks plotted, you are now able to see that you have room to add to the rear of the house or to the sides or to the front of the house which is all in your allowable buildable area according to your zoning. In conclusion, we can see that the survey and the zoning requirements on your property are very important because it all points to your allowable buildable area on your property. Along with the setbacks seen in this video, there are other factors that can affect your buildable area. Check out our next video entitled, Other Factors Affecting Your Buildable Area. For Peter Pavlos Architect, have a great week.